Everyone talks about setting up home networks, but most people are running bloated, overcomplicated solutions when there's this tiny, battle-tested tool that's been quietly powering millions of routers for decades. I'm talking about DNS Mask, and I've been running it in my home lab for months now to see if it lives up to the hype. Let's be real, most of us don't need the enterprise-grade complexity of Bind9 or the flashy web interface of Pi-hole when all we want is reliable DNS and DHCP for our home network. DNS Mask does exactly what it says on the tin, nothing more, nothing less. And honestly, that's exactly why it works so well. So what actually is DNS Mask? It's a lightweight DNS forwarder and DHCP server that's designed specifically for small networks. We're talking about something that weighs in at just over 400 kilobytes and can run on basically anything from your Raspberry Pi to that ancient router collecting dust in your closet. The whole thing is built around one simple philosophy. Do DNS caching, DHCP assignment, and network booting without all the bloat that comes with larger solutions. Here's what surprised me when I first started using it. The configuration is refreshingly straightforward. You've got one config file, usually at etsy dnsmask.conf, and it's actually human readable. No XML nightmares, no complex zone files, just simple key value pairs that make sense. Want to set up DHCP? Add a line like DHCP range equals 192.168.1.50, 192.168.1.150.12h. And you're done. Need to assign a static IP to your server? Just DHP dash host equals AABBCCDDEEFF 192.168.1.100 colon server, and it's handled. But here's where it gets interesting. DNS Mask automatically integrates DNS and DHCP in a way that feels almost magical when you first experience it. When a device gets an IP address from the DHCP server, its hostname automatically gets registered in DNS. No manual entries, no complicated scripts. It just works. Your laptop becomes reachable at laptop.local without you having to think about it. The DNS forwarding is where DNS Mask really shines for home users. It acts as a caching resolver, which means it remembers the answers to DNS queries and serves them lightning fast the next time someone asks. I'm seeing response times under one millisecond for cached queries, which is basically instantaneous. For anything it doesn't know, it forwards the request to your upstream DNS servers, Google, Cloudflare, whoever you trust. Now here's what nobody tells you about the real world performance. On my home network with about 20 devices, DNS Mask is using less than 10 megabytes of RAM and barely registers on CPU usage. Compare that to running something like Bind9, which can easily eat 50 to 100 megabytes just sitting idle, and you start to understand why this thing is embedded in literally millions of routers worldwide. The flexibility is honestly impressive for such a small package. You can use it as just a DNS server, just a DHCP server, or both together. Need to block ads at the DNS level? Point malicious domains to local hosts with a simple host file. Want to set up PXE booting for network installations? DNS Mask handles TFTP and can serve boot files. It's like a Swiss army knife for network services. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. This isn't Pi-hole. If you want a slick web interface with pretty graphs showing blocked ads and detailed analytics, DNS Mask isn't going to give you that out of the box. What you get is a rock-solid foundation that does the job without any fuss. The logs are plain text, the configuration is manual, and the monitoring is whatever you make of it. Here's where things get a bit frustrating, though. The documentation, while comprehensive, assumes you already know what you're doing with networking. If you're not comfortable editing config files or don't understand concepts like DNS forwarding and DHCP reservations, the learning curve can feel steep. There's no hand-holding here. It's a tool built by network engineers for network engineers. The community around DNS Mask is interesting. It's not the enthusiastic hobbyist community you'll find around Pi-hole. It's more like seasoned sysadmins who've been using this thing for years and consider it boring in the best possible way. The mailing list is active, but the questions are technical and the answers assume competence. Most users love the reliability above everything else. I've seen people running DNS Mask for years without a single restart, just quietly doing its job in the background. The biggest complaint I hear is actually about the lack of modern features. No DNS over HTTPS, no fancy filtering options, no REST API for management. But honestly, that's kind of the point. Here's my take after months of daily use. If you want something that just works and you're comfortable with command line configuration, DNS Mask is probably the best choice you can make for a home network. It's the kind of software that you set up once and then forget about because it never breaks. The performance is excellent, the resource usage is minimal, and the reliability is legendary.
But if you're coming from consumer router interfaces or you need features like detailed web-based monitoring, you might find it frustrating. This isn't software that tries to be everything to everyone. It's software that does a few things extremely well. The pricing is obviously unbeatable since it's completely free and open source. You can run it on hardware you already have, from a Raspberry Pi Zero to a full server, and it'll perform exactly the same. No licensing fees, no artificial limitations, no vendor lock-in. For most home users, especially those with some technical background, Dina's Mask hits that sweet spot of being powerful enough to handle complex networking scenarios while staying simple enough that you can understand exactly what it's doing. It's the kind of tool that makes you appreciate good software engineering, boring, reliable, and effective. The bottom line? If you need a DNS and DHCP server for your home network and you value simplicity, performance, and reliability over flashy features, DNS Mask is probably exactly what you're looking for. It's not exciting, it's not trendy, but it's been quietly powering networks for over two decades, and that kind of track record speaks for itself. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment. I'm always curious what real users think.